Hey, Mike with Banco here. In today's video, I'll be walking you through a 10-step graduation ceremony planning checklist. So let's get into it. Now, hosting a graduation ceremony can be very stressful and it's something that you need to plan every year. And often, schools don't have a general checklist to follow to keep them on track and to simplify things. And so again, in today's video, I'll be walking you through a simple 10-step checklist to host your graduation ceremony. So the first step is to determine your budget. And so there are a lot of factors that go into this. For example, the first thing you want to determine is where you're going to host your event. So determining a venue and where that's at, is that going to be at your school? Is it going to be an outside location? And what funds will be required to host your event there? The second thing to consider is the logistics going into where you're hosting your event. So again, do you have parking on site? Are you going to need to hire out shuttle buses? There's a lot of factors that go into this, but consider the logistics when determining your budget. The next thing you want to determine is if you're going to have guest speakers at your event. You might need to hire them out or are you just going to have students or faculty speak? This can be another thing you'll need to consider with your budget. You also want to consider if you have any other services going into your event. Like are you going to have ushers present? Are you going to offer refreshments, catering, anything like that? Consider that into your budget as well. Finally, consider if there's any other special accommodations that you'll need for hosting your event. The second step is to choose a date. This is very important because it will determine where you might be able to host your event if it's not on school campus. And it also gives you an idea on how soon you need to start promoting your event if you hope to sell it out. Third step is to plan for the size of your event. First, you need to plan for enough seating at your event. This can help you determine how many parking spots you need available, as well as how many tickets you can sell. This will also factor into the transportation options. Are you going to need to hire a large bus, small shuttle buses, or is your event small enough where that's not needed? The fourth step is to consider limiting the size of your event. Again, if you have a smaller venue, you might need to limit the number of tickets you sell for your graduation event. You also might want to consider getting your families to RSVP for the event to make sure that you have enough seating available. Another option would be to host the event online or to sell a live streaming ticket. This can be a great way to attract family that are outside of the state or that maybe aren't willing to travel. Offering an online version or a recorded version is a great way to increase ticket sales and to get more people to attend your event. In conjunction with this, Vanco Events makes this option simple. You can sell tickets online, promote them online, and it's a great way to promote your event. And this ties into step number five, promoting your ceremony. And so there's a lot of ways that you wanna promote your graduation ceremony. First of all, you can have parent newsletters that you can send out to parents, urging them to buy tickets. Plus with Vanco Events, you can create links that you can share and QR codes where people can buy the tickets right online. This is a great option for parents to forward to their family members if they want to attend the event as well. You can promote your event on social media. You can hand out flyers in the school. And as I mentioned, Vanco Events can help you build QR codes that you can post around the school, giving students the option to buy tickets right at school. The sixth step is the plan for logistics. And so I mentioned this before, but if you're going to have shuttle buses involved, that's something you want to plan for. But you also want to plan for parking as well. For example, with Vanco Events, you can sell reserved parking spaces for your graduation ceremony, making this simple and a lot less hectic. Are you going to need to have parking lot attendance at the event? Or potentially assigned seating? All these things are something you want to consider when hosting your graduation ceremony. The seventh step is to order graduation gowns and caps in advance. This is something you definitely want to plan for to make sure you're not scrambling to get these items last minute. On top of this, you might also consider selling t-shirts for the graduating class. This can be another great way to raise additional funds for your ceremony and to make it an event people will remember. The eighth step is to plan for the amenities in advance. So again, determining if you want to have a catered event, other factors like reserved seating, VIP sections, and other things of that nature can be things that you want to factor into your planning checklist. The ninth step is to talk to students in need. Again, maybe some students can't afford tickets to the ceremony, or families might not be able to afford bringing everyone they'd like to, or you might have students or families with special needs that you need to accommodate for at your event. 
Finally, the 10th step is to set up your ceremony. Plan for how this works in advance. Maybe have a couple dry runs before the actual event to make sure your event goes off without a hitch. But again, hopefully you got some value out of this checklist and implement it for your next graduation ceremony. It can really help you streamline your event and make sure it goes off without a problem. And to help you do this, we put together a free event planning checklist that can walk you through step-by-step -step how to plan a successful school event. So if you'd like to download that, there'll be a link in the description below where you can do so. And if you'd like even more one-on-one -on -one help with building out your graduation ceremony and other school events, be sure to request a demo with our Banco events team and they can walk you through step-by-step -step how simple it can be to build up an event for your school. So again, to access that demo, there'll be a link in the description below. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new videos we put out to help you build a successful program. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.